it's Karen from Lion Gate Farm and today, well, welcome back to the felting channel, I am going to teach you how to make these cute little playful foxes. They're really fun. Um, it's a little bit more involved. We're going to do an armature, a basic armature, and then I'll teach you a couple new tricks. So let's get started. Hey, it's Karen from Lion Gate Farm and I'm going to teach you how to make this cute little fox today. So what you need are a few things. You're going to need a 20 inch piece of 16 gauge wire cut in half. So two 10 inch pieces, a 14 inch piece of 18 gauge wire, and then various things you will need. You'll need, you know, your needles. I like the pen tool, my 38 star spiral. You will need, well, you don't need it, but it makes life easier if you use this um, multi-tool, maybe a skewer. Um, you don't need a pen. <laughs> okay, so for putting your wool on the wax, you need some swax. Um, seraphine, and it does get yucky um, because it's sticky and it picks up fibers. Um, swax makes your wool, your wool stick to your wire. This one came from Seraphina. This is some low-tax wax that I got from the fishing store down, the fly tying store down the road down the road here see it gets all fibery because it's sticky um and i'll show you how to use that you're going to need of course core wool regular old core wool and then you're going to need some white this is snow white some i have raven coriadale black this is some squirrel coriadale and then fox coriadale of course a ruler is helpful and we'll use that right now so you're going to take your two 10 inch pieces and I already have mine bent. Um, this is about three inches right here. Just about three. You don't want your fox to be too long. And then, so the sides are about three and a half. So three and a half, three, three and a half. So you're going to make these two little upside down use. Then you're going to take your 18 gauge wire. Now I find center in this wire just for kicks. And then I start in the middle and I am, this is an unconventional armature. I wrap it around one way and then we're going to wrap it around another way. This is not a true, true skeleton armature come up between the legs and you have a piece there you have a big piece here we're gonna go around and come up between the legs so this is not a, a true skeleton armature this is a very basic armature this end is the tail and you have six inches here so just bring it in so you have about three inches and then you're gonna twist it if you put even pressure on either wire, it will give you a nice even twist in your wire. Twist it all up, all the way to the end. And then for the front, do the same thing for the front. This is your head, kind of. I'm just giving you a base here to build your head on. It isn't really the nose, but you can bend it like it is if you want to. So that's going to be your head. I know, pretty silly looking thing right now, right? Well, let's make it into a fox. All right, so the next thing you're going to do, um, first I have to get my pliers, so hold on. I knew it. All right, so we're back. We're going we're gonna to make him look like this. Flat. It's the easiest way to work on them. All right. So you're going to take my hairy piece of swax here. And you see I have a hole in mine? I made a hole. And you're going to run, just do one leg at a time in your sticky beeswax or swax or whatever you want to use. So see that makes your wire sticky. It's see how you can see it dulled it because it's sticky. All right. So then we'll use that again on every leg. Just do one leg at a time. If you do more than one leg, you'll end up with a sticky mess. So let's tear off a piece 
of our raven corydale and we're going to divide this into four one for each leg pretty much you might need more but i don't think so all right so i have this nice little skinny piece um i like my fox legs to be super skinny so i skipped a step hold on you guys i've never taught this so bear with me take a little piece of core wool and wrap it around your middle let's secure it i got excited because i'm doing something a little bit more complex today let's just wrap it around the middle wire remember keep it nice and flat Wrap it fairly tight. The only reason I like that on there is so I have something. Now remember, you go back to your sticky leg. So I have something to secure my black to. So let's tack it on. Now, very thin piece. We're going to wrap flat. I wrap away from myself. You know, so you wrap around, put your finger on it. We want this to be flat and thin. And we're going to come down here all the way to the end. Until I've wrapped a lot. This takes practice to learn. Now this is how I do my feet. Now you're going to take your pliers. Don't let that rip off of there. And I'm going to turn up about a half an inch. You'll see I got it. Uh, we're going to bend it up. So this is basically his little paw. So back up a little. See I got twisted. Untwist. We're going to wrap. This does two things. One, you don't see the end of the wire ever. I got so watch here, you don't get too thick going back up. Let's see what's happening. My fingers are sticky from the swax. But did you see how easy that the the Coriadale stuck to the wire? Using the sticky beeswax stuff really makes a difference. So you shouldn't have to poke too much. So that's going to be a one paw. Now, the trick here is, see how long you ended up from the center? It is three inches, maybe three and a quarter. So you got to make sure that your next leg ends up the same. So this time I'm gonna use the other stuff I've got here. And I'm just, I'm just gonna wipe it on here. This is actually a little stickier than the beeswax stuff. And I gotta push it up. It totally sticks to your fingers, all your fibers, everything. So you can do that. Now it's super sticky. Okay. And again, we're going to secure it. And I'm going to draft this out a little bit. And again, we want it thin. So his legs stay skinny. See, I can see it's starting to get thick. So I pull out a little bit. Get to the end. I'm going to fold that piece up. 
and then I'm going backwards for his paw and then back up his leg. So at this point, we're not felting yet, really. We're just wrapping. I got twisted again. Just, it's really easy to get your fiber twisted up. All right, so I have extra here, but I'm just going to wrap it around the body because that's going to be covered in core wool. So, so far we have two legs done. Let's move those out of the way. So now we're gonna go up here. And remember, we want them a little bit long. So I'm gonna go back to this one. This. Get that all gooey. Just remember, once you have it on your fingers, your fingers are sticky. Remember, I wrap away from myself. Whatever works best for you, and I'm right-handed, so I'm adhering it to the body. And I'm gonna wrap all the way to the end. So there's already a slight bend in this wire. So I told you my legs are three and a quarter, right? So we're going to make them probably right there. I'm pre-measuring just to make sure they all come out the same. One more to do after this. Oh, that was not good. But I have enough here. So I'm going to just wrap it up. <laughs> and tack it in. That will be covered by core wool most likely, so it won't matter. One more. I'm coming loose out here, so I'm going to tack that back down. So if you don't have a ruler and you're out doing this, you can kind of look at your other leg and look, oh, you can just tip the very tip of this one in. There's some little tricks you can do if your legs get to be two different lengths too. I can show you those. No one will notice. Remember, you are the only one. So my Coriadel just got really fat. You see that? I'm going to draft it out. Pray it doesn't break. Let's go back up. If you're using merino, merino gets pretty hairy. Um, it, it 
might be thinner than this Corydale that I'm using. All right, so we have a head and we have four legs that are almost the same length and a tail. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build up his body just a little bit. Now, if you look at this guy right here, you can kind of see where we're gonna go with this. Okay, so that guy's a little bit heavier, fatter than this guy. So the body is probably going to end up between, maybe I should use the right end of the ruler. This one's one and a half thick, and this one is one and a half at the chest, and it's only one inch at at his hot right in here, his belly area. So you have to be mindful when you're putting your core wool on. We're just gonna take a little piece. So I'm already almost at an inch right here. We want an inch and a half. We're not gonna put a lot on because remember, once you add your color, it's gonna get even fatter. So we're gonna drop that a little piece. And I'm going to kind of wrap this is up by his head. So let's make his rib cage here. In fact, that's too fat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off. Step that in. I don't want to make him taller. And if I keep going over the top, he'll become taller. So I'm going to take this little piece, roll it up, make a little pillow and put it right here. tack it all on. So now I'm going to take another little piece of core wool. I'm going to work in pretty small pieces here. Just this little, it's probably pretty thin. It's probably about an inch. I'm going to come around, wrap the leg, go back up. We just made part of his shoulder. And I'm going to go across on the across his back. I don't think I have enough, but I'm going to come around and I'm going to go back up this way. So basically did kind of like figure eights. And made his little arm. Again, don't worry if you can see that black that we wrapped around the body, if you had any, because it will be covered. So see, I even think that's just a little bit. All right, so now we have this. Take a little piece. We're gonna start building up his back leg. Same kind of thing. It's we're just going to come down, around, and up. It also makes his butt at the same time. You're going to have to do this more than once. So we're going to come down, just like the front leg, go around. I'm gonna go around twice, and then I'm gonna come back up. This core will have a little bit of nips in it. 
So we're going to come down, go around, go around, I'm going to come back up here. So just remember, we still have to add color, so you don't want this to be too bulky. Just keep doing that until you get, um, I'll do some measurements here for you. here. We need one more little piece. So I suggest you go online and print out some pictures of foxes so you kind of can see the little structural that we're going to get here. Now this needs filled in. So I'm just I'm gonna just wrap it a little bit right there. I just went around one time, fill that in. This needs filled in. Again, wrapping it one time and up. You can start to see the shape of the fox happening. So we won't wrap any more on this side until we get to the color. The dog is very excited. John just got home. Do one back here. And I know he looks really messy right now, but that's okay. I kind of like to poof it all on and then work it out one more around there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to stab this all together, get it all nice and smooth. All right, so working along, and I want to get them all nice and smooth in the shape of a fox. So you're going to take his legs and do this. I know it seems wrong, but just do it. And we're going to stab this all nice and smooth in here. Be mindful of that wire in there. And you notice I'm not stabbing very deep. Remember, only this much of your needle works. So you can on both of them. So we have these spaces here we need to fill in a little bit under their armpits. it up a little bit around their legs. Remember, they're going to have a little chest here. If you have a dog, think about what your dog looks like laying upside down. It's similar. So then this is what we have. So we're going to put their legs back. Head. We haven't done anything to the head yet. Smooth this out. So 
So we bent that wire and we have this little, make sure it's facing that way. That's your little foot. Just give it a little bend. It's probably like a 45 degree angle. You can do that in the front. A little bend, a little bend. Looks like I have one leg that's longer than the other. It's very possible. So if you bend these back this way and then put your thumb here, you're gonna bend it forward. That's gonna make your little elbow. Do it again over here. Makes you a little elbow. And then now we need a hock. So up about three quarters of an inch, you're gonna make a little bend. So then they will stand like this. You can kind of see a little fox happening here. Kind of. Tail's going to go up. All right. I need you to wrap just a little tiny bit around this neck area. only reason I like wire up in the head is so you can tilt it, you know, give them some expression with how they're standing. So just like we did below, we're going to sit here and we're going to felt this all smooth and ready for its top coat. Okay, so we've been working on this armature for a little bit and um, I'm going to give you some measurements so you see how I'm at, how I am progressing. So the actual fox measures four inches from the bottom of the foot to the top of the shoulder, and it should measure similar here. Ooh, mine's a little bit less. Um, and then we have his little neck, so he should be about one and a half inches wide this chest part one and a half inches wide. We have two inches from the top down to his little leg here. Same thing, two inches down to the hock. And again, one and a half, about the same, one and a half. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna build um, his head. Actually, first I think we're gonna, we're gonna cover the tail. We'll cover the tail. So you're gonna take a little piece of your Snow White and you're gonna take your Swax. <laughs> Just so you all know, my cameraman hates how fuzzy this is. It's kind of funny. And I just grease it all up. All right, I'm gonna put it out of the view. Again, secure it. We're just going to cover this, but we're using white, snow white. Let's just get this wire out of the way. Actually, I wanna squeeze that. So just like we did with the feet, only this doesn't have to be as precise. I'm just going to fold over that little piece. I don't like the wires to stick out and I'm gonna tear this off and secure it. So that'll be end up being the top of inside of his tail. I just want this wire covered. Okay, so now we're gonna build his head. So there, his tail will be in there. So now I'm using um, Fox Colored Coriadale Blend. It, it usually only takes me about a quarter of an ounce, but it might take you more, you never know. And we're gonna rip off a piece. So technically, that is his nose. Technically, if you see where that lines up. Technically, but it's gonna disappear. So we're going to wrap around. And then we're gonna, I have this little piece here I'm gonna use. Just going all the way to the top. Don't think about making a nose yet. So I have that wire in there. I'm not going to worry about it. This is 
Let's get this nice and secured. Oops, there's that wire again. We're making just this little stamp there. This little round shape right here. Half round. So that's kind of felted on there. So the next thing you're going to do is take your skewer. And I probably should, and we're going to draft out a little piece. I probably should measure this so that you guys, I keep doing centimeters. So. It's about, it ends up being a total of a half an inch. That one is. This one's a little longer, three quarters. So it's kind of subjective. I lost my skewer. All right, so we need somewhere, we'll say between a half and three quarters. You're going to want it fatter at the base. Okay, it will naturally go forward. Kind of making a cone shape. There is a piece of something in there. Now you don't want this too fat because we still have to add a jaw. So this one came out almost three quarters, but it's going to shrink because I left all this fringe. So remember you have that little wire? S kind of center this over where that wire is and just poke it on using that fringe. Don't worry what it looks like right now. They have skinny little noses. to this so we just need to get that shape on there pretty firm now it looks pretty dorky right now doesn't it all right next thing you're gonna do take a little bit of white we're gonna make almost the same shape only flat and you know, I just go here and I'm I should tell you this ended up being a quarter of an inch wide. So I need a quarter of an inch shape, pretty much. I will be able to size it a little bit more. So same shape as the nose, only flat. The, the end of it, I want it felted pretty good because it's his bottom jaw. And we're going to take this and it goes right here. I know it looks kind of silly, right? Use any of the stray fibers. Get poked all the way in. You do not want it wider than the nose. You can poke this all over because we're going to cover that. Now, mine went back too far. I have to move it up. I'm 
I want to keep it even with the end here. Don't stab your finger. Still looks pretty silly, huh? Okay. Now we're going to take some more Corydale. I like to fill this in right here because they don't come to a dead stop. Just taking a little bit. So if you look at them from the top, their heads are triangles. And you can see it happening. They're triangle this way, triangle this way. They are going to dip in though, right here. This is called a stop on the dog. This will all solidify as we keep working it. like this little line I have going on over here, so I'm just going to erase it. Next thing we're going to do is put on his nose. So you A tiny bit of black. You can take and stab a little line in it and fold it down just so the top here is smooth. So basically build the nose on your felting surface, kind of. big mess. So then, I know it looks way too big, but it's going to get small because my fibers nose is as wide as the end of the nose. I'm going to start stabbing it in. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little white to his face first. I keep tucking this jaw, this bottom jaw, smaller and smaller because I didn't felt it a lot before I put it on. I, I still have the, the leeway to do that and it firms it up. So we want a little bit of white little bit. We're going to go around the nose.
and just tuck it in down here. So basically we're just gonna give him a little shading all the way back to there. A little bit of shading. It doesn't have to be a ton of white. See, I'm still working his nose into a triangle. I'm also using my needle sideways to blend these fibers. Actually gonna wrap it totally under the nose this time. We're gonna add a little black there to define the mouth in a minute. This is the most persnickety part of the whole fox, is getting his face just right. Now, if you wanted to, you could put the white on before, put the nose on. But I find by putting the white on after, it covers up some of the stray fibers from the black. And you don't see them if you have any left over. So your nose is going to be getting pretty firm after working it for so much, which is what you want. I'm gonna add a little bit more on this side. Remember, just do little bits at a time. I'm gonna take just a couple hairs of black, a couple fibers, and fill it in right here. Just so I know where his mouth is. Sometimes if you twist them a little, you can see them better. And I put a little bit of extra right there and go up to his nose. Remember, well, I keep this nose skinny. By now, it should be starting to look like a fox nose. 
relax a little bit. Now, triangular head. See, this side of his head is a little flat. I can see that now that I have his nose on. So I'm adding a little piece here. To build up the side of his head. Which means I probably didn't felt this tight enough before I added his nose. So I might want to felt a little bit tighter than I showed you. The next thing I'm going to talk about is eyes. So you have your nose. This is your center line for your nose. Remember that triangle. Your triangle. The eyes are going to go right here above where the nose connects. Kind of stab where they're gonna go. I'm not gonna put them in yet though. I just want you to know where they're gonna go. Next we're gonna put some ears on. Okay so I've been working on this little fox's head, firming it up here for a bit. Eyes are gonna go there and I've got his nose pretty firm now. And I always like my foxes to smile. So I bring this up a little bit right there. You don't have to, but they are crafty foxes. So um, we were gonna, we're gonna make this a two part video this time. So we're gonna pause here. We're ready for ears and tail and body and eyeballs. And we'll come back in the second video and show you how to do that.